What's up, reading friends? I want to welcome you to a book review on a book that I really loved, that I thought was just fantastic, The Mists of Avalon by the fantasy and science fiction author Marion Zimmer Bradley. This book is a retelling of the Arthurian saga from the feminine perspective, from the Lady of the Lakes perspective, Morgaine. Morgaine travels in this book throughout Camelot and Avalon, advocating for the Celtic way of life, the pagan way, against the encroaching way of Christianity and Camelot. She's protecting the female way, the mother goddess, the priest priestesshood of Avalon from the dominant patriarchal way of the Christian priests in Camelot. As Morgane pursues her goals, she engages with the beloved Camelot cast, King Arthur, Lancelot, Galorus, Uther Pendragon. The men are represented here, but we really get to see it from the eyes of the women. Morgane, her mother, Igraine, Vivian, Guinevere. Bradley writes the story of the Arthurian women's lives in this piece. Morgan Le Fay is normally seen in Arthurian literature as the distant, sinister Lady of the Lake, but we get to meet her in this one and find out just who she really is. Morgane tries to work with Camelot and the king and the queen to bring a mutual respect between Avalon and the magic people of the woods and Camelot and the Christians and the knights of the round table. It's her responsibility as the representative of Avalon to make sure that the Christian kingdom doesn't overrun and extinguish the lake and the people there. And that is what this book is all about. I really loved this book. It was a journey of the imagination. It was a real experience. Marion Zimmer Bradley takes the time to reinvent the characters of Avalon and make them her own. And the social conflict was one of the best parts of this book. You get to know a variety of characters and understand a variety of motives. The line between good and evil is not so clearly drawn in this book. You come to empathize with a lot of different people and what they're working toward. And I think it's just brilliant. I give this book a maximum recommendation. It has an epic fantasy feel to it, and I really got lost and engrossed in it. It was a real journey for me. I think it's going to stand up as a classic in this genre into the future, and I'm basically pleading with you to read it. The Mists of Avalon sold so well that Marion Zimmer Bradley and Diana Paxson co-authored several other books, making it part of a series, and it also won the Locus Award for the Best Fantasy Novel of the Year in 1984, and it also inspired a television program. I've read two of these Arthurian novels now. I also read A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court by Mark Twain. It's a joy coming across the same cast of characters from a different author's imagination, and I'm really looking forward to reading some more of these in the future. I'm going to leave it at that, reading friends. Drop me a line in the comments if you have a recommendation. I'm always looking for great books to read and review here on my channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you enjoyed. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you next time.